Bert and Ernie, our beloved Sesame Street characters. But the question on everyone's mind this week was if that segment was brought to you by the letters LGBTQ. We are back now with Bert and Ernie and the burning question this morning, are they best friends or something more? The question was raised publicly by a recent interview with former Sesame Street writer Mark Saltzman. Were you thinking of Bert and Ernie as a gay couple? Saltzman, who joined the show in 1984, responded in part, I always felt that without a huge agenda, when I was writing Bert and Ernie, they were. Saltzman's recollection set it off on social media and brought responses from Sesame Workshop, declaring in part that Bert and Ernie, quote, remain puppets and do not have a sexual orientation. Wait, Muppets don't have a sexual orientation? Uh, that's weird because I know for a fact that Kermit and Miss Piggy smash hard. That's what I, I know. I know this. They... They even did an episode when the Count counted all their sex positions. He was like, <laughs> one, reverse cowgirl, two, Sudanese jackhammer, ah, 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 ah. Now, I don't really know if Bert and Ernie are gay, because, I mean, on the one hand, two guys living together for 40 years could mean they're gay, but it could also just be that they live in New York and apartments are expensive. <laughs> and also, if they were gay, let's be honest, that eyebrow would have been addressed by now. <laughs> would have been dealt with. But let's move on. Let's move on, because a school superintendent in Texas did something racist. A Texas school superintendent's job may be on the line after he made a racist remark about Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. On a Facebook post about the Texans, Onalaska ISD superintendent Lynn Redden wrote, quote, when you need precision decision-making, you can't count on a black quarterback. Well, parents whose kids attend the school district were quick to come out against Redden's comment. I think he needs to be checked out for that. That needs to be addressed. You think that comment's racist? Uh, it sure sounds like it to me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect that accent <laughs> to say something woke. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I watched that clip thinking I was gonna see a story about a racist, and it turns out I'm the racist. <laughs> Because that was great, he's right. Like, now I'm imagining that there's an entire crew of Southern progressives just running around like, hey, boy, we don't take kindly to racists around here. This year's tolerance country, you heard? <laughs> and by the way, congratulations to Bert and Ernie. Live your truth, boys. Yeah! <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, in other news, in other news, Stormy Daniels has a new book out, and the details are way too detailed. New excerpts from Stormy Daniels, her book was just released, and in it, she describes her intimate encounter with President Trump. And we'll give you the daytime TV version. She says the president's, you know what, looks quote like the mushroom character in Mario Kart. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, here is the character uh, named Toad. That's right, in her new book, Stormy Daniels says that Trump's penis looks like Toad. And first of all, gross. Uh, second of all, gross. Uh, third, this shouldn't be on the real news. I mean, we would cover it, but people shouldn't be up for Pulitzers for getting the Trump toad dick scoop. I don't think that should be on the news. And, like, by, like I have so many questions now. Like, did, like, does it include the shoes? <laughs> like, does Trump's dick have tiny little shoes? Does, like, it's got a vest? Does his penis have a vest? Because <laughs> now I'm picturing, like, a penis wearing a vest, and Trump's like, sometimes it gets chilly. You gotta keep it warm. <laughs> I, like... And also, what I want to know is, when did Stormy Daniels discover Trump's dick looked like Toad? Were they having sex and she was like, oh, damn, where's Mario and Luigi? <laughs> or was it years later when she was playing Mario Kart for the first time and she was driving and she was like, ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> Either way, I'm not gonna lie, I hate this story. I hate this story. Because now it's made me wonder if Trump has other Mario-related things about him. Like, now I just picture Trump getting frisky, like, now I'm gonna go down on you. na 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 <laughs> No, 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 no